my god, good morning. Do you even vein? My legs are veiny as hell. What better way to start the video by showing you my shreds on my legs and my abs and complete body. What's up guys, welcome to this video. We are at the end of peak week and the beginning of the loading phase. So we are two days out of my competition. It's Thursday today, the competition is on Saturday. I've been showing you my low carb days this past week and today we are having the first high carb day. So I explained most of the game plan in my last video, but in this video you are going to see the game plan and going to see the changes within my physique. So let's go ahead, let's do the weigh-in. Started this peak week at 91. 0.5 kilograms. Let's see if I dropped even more today because yesterday was the last low carb day Which means I should have dropped more weight. Let's go ahead. Let's see the weight for today. I'm really curious And yes, there we go 85.1 yesterday 84.1 today so I dropped another one kilogram it's mind-blowing because I'm doing the classic physique trunks and my weight cap is 89 kilograms so we really basically have five kilograms room to fill up so yeah I wrote down the whole game plan right here if you want to pause the screen go ahead pause the screen so bas basically this is for today and this is for tomorrow but this will go on the thumbnail as well so again quick peek this is how we are looking two days out first loading day is today i think we are coming in really shredded really lean legs are definitely where they need to be i am really thin flat depleted which is really good hamstrings showing more and more and my back just my lower back is not where it needs to be but hey it is what it is. I am freaking stoked what I've put down in the past 10 weeks. And once more, I can definitely say I've never been this lean my entire life. Going downstairs, gotta prepare my food and show you exactly what I'm having for the whole day and then bring you along with me. Alrighty guys, good morning. I've got everything laid out right here on the table, kitchen table. Uh, I'm going through it really quickly to show you exactly what we are having today and as you can see it's nothing crazy not too much and we are keeping it kind of safe so first off let me show you the carb source main carb source we are having i have here about 400 grams of uncooked rice which i'm going to cook and have for today divided over five meals i will have 800 grams of just chicken breast 800 grams 500 grams of salad. Uh, I will have for the fat source 30 milliliters of pumpkin seed oil. And these are the supplements I need to take with every single meal. So I have calcium, vitamin C, calcium, digestive enzymes, magnesium citrate, omega 3, multivitamin. And with every meal, I gotta take them, especially the digestive enzymes and of course the rest. And for today, we have salt. For the past couple days, we have played a lot with the water and salt. On Sunday, I had 15 liters of water and 30 grams of salt. And we dropped it every single day. So on Monday, I had 13 liters and 25 grams of salt. And today, I'm having six liters of water and eight grams of salt for the whole day and that's basically it really simple nothing too crazy it is a clean carb load and as well tomorrow I'm having more uh, rice I'm having 600 grams of rice and I'm having six whole apples so yeah I will show that in a separate video but today is this I'm going to prepare this I have to do my cardio in the morning it's seven o'clock so probably will show you that in my next clip how can I forget to show you my delicious coffee in the morning? Guys, this is what I need right now. There we go, the rice is cooked. Can't wait to dig in this big ass bowl of rice. And I've got my chicken, which is so... I've got my chicken, which is just plain no seasoning in there, uh, baking in the oven. And there we go. How can I forget to show you my coffee? Can't wait to get my sugar-free milk and my full-fat sugar in there. Oh yeah. So now let's go ahead and do the cardio. All right. 
right guys that was the freaking last cardio session this prep 75 minutes are over oh my god my legs are freaking exhausting and i have just one weightlifting session which is left and it's gonna be full body uh, just 50 percent of my strength uh, after my meal so heading home gonna have my first carb meal wait two three hours then go to the gym have my weightlifting session and then it's rest until the competition and probably until next week and you can't i can't describe the feeling finishing my cardio i've been doing cardio every single day for 30 days long every morning one hour i've been working my butt off so it's now 9 30 let's go home have my first meal of the day <laughs> all right got home i just weighed out all the rice which is cooked and comes out to one kilo 660 grams oh my god i was eating salad bowls this big and now i'm eating rice balls this big so i need to divide this in like five uh meals but yeah i'm going to have the biggest meal right now i'm starving and later on the day yeah i don't want to eat too late on the day so i'm just going to divide this a little bit of rice right here oh let me get let me get dry rice mm. Just plain rice. Oh my god. Like I was starving. Suffering for this. Mm, 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 mm. Now I'm going to plate it and show you the result. So there we go, big ass bowl. I've got a little bit of salad. I've got my rice, got my chicken. And I weighed out my salt, which is eight grams right here. And I've got three, uh, 30 milliliters uh, of the pumpkin oil, which I'm just slowly gonna add on top. Not too much, bit by bit. And literally, this pumpkin oil is so delicious. It's like peanut butter. And with a salad, it's really, really tasty. And as well, I've got a little bit of salt. This goes on top. I don't have much salt, so... Save it for later. It's now 9.40 in the morning. First meal, first loading meal for this weekend. This will do me so, so good. And tomorrow, I've got 600 grams of rice and six apples. So that's even more carbs. So we will see what it does to my body, especially tomorrow morning. And on Saturday, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Mm. Here we go. First meal of the day. Check up with you later on. I've got quite some errands to do at the shop also. So probably check up with you right there. There we go, the meal is gone and I feel like a newborn baby with some energy going through my body. That was so amazing and I'm still hungry so I gotta be careful with these high carb days because you will crave more and more food. So yeah, after every single meal I have to have or I need to get some supplements in. So here we go, I laid them out, I'm just, just going to show you one and then later on I'm just gonna have them with my meal. So here we go, one tablet of calcium, one tablet of vitamin C, half a tablet, calcium, magnesium, I've got digestive enzymes, Omega-3 and multivitamin. Multivitamin is just once a day, the rest is with every single meal I need to have it. Especially the digestive enzymes and the magnesium, calcium will just be two meals of the day. And especially on Saturday during the competition, during the show, he told me like to really be careful or to really watch these tablets and to really take them with every single meal. So here we go, all these tablets, go in. It's basically health, so your body really digests everything, especially digestive enzymes after really low carb, high intensity cardio, and just no fats. This will really feel to your body. You will feel it at the end. So that's it now. I'll check up with you later on after doing some errands. 
And like that, almost 2 o'clock, I just got home from the gym, did my last freaking workout for this prep. Oh my god, that feels good. It was just a quick session, 50% uh, of my uh, strength, uh, full body, it was a quick session and I'm feeling amazing, the carbs getting in me. Feeling good. So having my next post-workout meal, or my post-workout meal is going to be a small one. So I've got rice, salad, chicken. I will add a little bit of this oil to it. And a little bit of the salt, like so. And I've got this rice and chicken left for today. So I've got three more meals after this one to eat. And that will basically be it for today. And I also got my supplements which I need, which I need to take after this meal. Uh, guys. At 2 o'clock I've got an appointment for the uh, hairdresser and I think we are going to change the way I'm looking. I think it's time to basically get rid of this. I'm not sure, but I think I'll do it. Let's see how I am looking after the hairdresser, after 14 weeks of dieting, after losing 20 kilograms without a beard. Not sure if I'm gonna do it, but here we go. In 3, 2, 1, the reveal. Oh my god, no, I could not do it, I could not shave my beard and my barber told me as well, don't shave your beard, you're gonna look so different because my face is so skinny and it's not gonna look good. So, fresh haircut right here, I just trimmed the side, gonna keep the top a little bit longer and I did cut up my beard a little bit and guys, Half of the day is passed because me and my girlfriend went to the shop, I had to do some errands, really busy, so it's now 5.30 at night, my meal is heating up, which I'm going to have now, and I'm basically going to have only 4 meals a day. At 7 o'clock we have an appointment for a massage, so we need to do that, because I want to do that, and after massage I will just have that last meal, and that's going to be it for today. It was a hectic day, I was all over the place, but tomorrow complete rest i'm not doing anything just sitting down preparing for saturday and just getting my food in so that's the most important thing uh, tomorrow is to relax no stress because of stress you can hold the water again so you don't want that and yeah i'm going to finish my meal uh, it's going to be the same as before and the one before that i've got my rice heating up a chicken i've got a little bit of salad left which i'm going to add and the remaining of my oil and salt and it's going to look something like this yeah like i said really boring but this is what you need to do if you want to get as dry as possible i'm gonna give you a bite before i go back to the shop mm -mm -mm. Mm. guys try out pumpkin seed oil it literally is so damn tasty and healthy for you it should be the same as olive oil but it tastes like peanut butter no joke it tastes like peanut butter freaking delicious i got my salad crunchy mm. guys check up with you after the massage and just tell you how i feel if i don't fall asleep all right here we go just finished my meal watching fit couple foodies one of the best eating channels out there. Been watching them for a while. Loving the vibe they are giving out. And I totally forgot to show you it, but guys, I got you, got the schedule for this coming Saturday. So basically, we have the weigh-ins at 9 o'clock in the morning. And this is all the classes, or are all the classes that are going on. And the first class is Men's Physique at 1 o'clock. So basically, I got this meal last night, and I totally forgot to share this with you, but... Uh, we gotta get there at 9 o'clock in the morning, in between 9 and 12 the weigh-ins are for all the athletes and after that we have to wait. So basically men's physique comes at 1 o'clock, the first class, and then classic physique is right after men's physique at 15.40. So I basically have to do true novice B at around 15 30 4 o'clock and then novice and then novice straight after that so that means i'm having the weigh-ins at around nine o'clock and i have to wait until three o'clock for the show it's gonna be a long day but but i just got an email in for the spray tan so that's why i'm filming this otherwise i would forget it and my personal time slot for the spray tan is 12:45. So basically at 12.45, I will have my spray tan. And I think I have to do two coats, so I have to stick around. Uh, the first thought is, weigh in at 9 o'clock, go home. But 
I don't think we are going home. So we gotta get there at nine o'clock early also just to be safe. Then at 12.45 I have to spray tan and at yeah three o'clock probably get on stage. And the, the, the last, see, last class for Classic Physique is at 4 o'clock. Yeah, 4 o'clock, 4, 4.35 is the ceremony True Novus slash Novus. So basically that is the, the, the medals for the True Novus and the Novus category, the beginners. And then at 6 o'clock there is a big break of one hour. And at 7 o'clock uh, the Open Regionals Classic Physique starts. So if I... If I win open and true, or no, true novas and novas, I could go to open, which I registered for, but that's at 7 o'clock. So it's gonna be a really, really long day. And bodybuilding starts at 8 o'clock, finishes at 11 o'clock. So this is a really stretchful day. So you have all these time slots, and I, I know why, because there are a lot of classes, a lot of people doing this, and they can't do it the day before the weigh-ins because on sunday there are women doing the classes so yeah that's the schedule for this saturday it's gonna be hectic it's gonna be all over the place but i just gotta relax don't think about it and just go with the flow so just finish my meal check up with you later on yes liquor massage yeah guys, just went to the massage salon and then she wanted to give me a massage. Thank you. Oh, that was freaking relaxing. Now, going home by car and have my last meal of the day. Oh my god, I feel like a newborn kid. Oh, guys, <laughs> we just went to the massage. Oh, it was relaxing. This is what I needed, just to relax the muscles, just to relax the mind. And she wanted to give me this as a present. <laughs> Thank you. So, going home, I have my last meal of the day, it's 8 o'clock at night. It was a freaking exhausting day. Check up with you at home. And there we go, 8.30 at night, finishing up the day with the last bowl of my carbs today. So I got the rest of the rice, chicken and the remaining of the salad. I already added a little bit of salt and oil. I did not have a lot left. And this will do. I'm pretty hungry after that massage and I will say that massage did me well. Like the muscles, getting the water again out of the muscle, which did me really good. So... Last meal of the day, I will probably show you my physique uh, tonight and end this video and start a new low day tomorrow. It is later on tonight, I do want to show you my physique. I'm not sure how I'm going to look, but first I'm going to check my weight. See what the weight has done with all the carbs. Let's go ahead. I was 84 kilograms this morning and now... I am 87 kilograms exactly, which means I have gained 3 kilograms, about 3 kilograms. So this is how I am looking later on the night. So I think Whoa. it's all good. You can see my legs still holding his shape, abs, yeah, I'm looking good, vascular, hell yeah. And we have one more day of filling up. <clears throat> so I'm really curious what tomorrow will do. Oh. Hell yeah. Ah. So here we go. This is how we are looking at the moment. We got one more filling up day tomorrow. If you want to catch up with me, how I'm looking tomorrow morning. Check out my next video. Uh, I'm going to start a new video. It's going to be day six of peak week, day two of loading, and then we have the show. So I guess we are heading to the right place. I just don't want to get soggy or bloated. Yeah, I'm noticing I'm sweating already after that posing. So we got to be careful. Got to check tomorrow what the weight is going to do. And I do think I have a lot of water in me which I need to pee out as well. So guys, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you're new to my channel. And if you're excited to see my epic transformation and show day video. I can end it in only one way, one way only. 
I hope you have a great day, great night, whatever it is in life. Do what you want. Do it now. I dare you. Live life. Peace.